An island named Diofield. Long known as the home of the gods, the island has basked in nothing but peace for centuries. Alas, an inescapable wave of chaos and change appears to be approaching. While sojourning in Lettershire at the Leicester residence, the fourth-born prince, Avantia Shatham, comes under attack. Amidst the chaos, Andreas and Frederick hurry to his aid, and under their courageous protection, he escapes the manor. However, they are ambushed, and Levantia is felled by an assassin's hand. With his last breath, he entrusts the future to his friends. Levantia's now limp hand bears the mark of the blessed, proof of his rightful claim to kingship. Hello guys, this is it. This is the demo for the Diofield Chronicles. Now let's get started. Uh, I'll just go for normal. A way of life. I believe the second one is a girl and I really like that she's in a full suit armor. So far so good. Yeah, so I think this is her. Is there. We need to be sure the bandit's target hasn't come to harm. To the carriage. So you can cue movement. Like in a Dota or something. Oh, so that's how you select multiple units. That's that's nice. For example, if I want to select just two, or I, I don't have whole just like that to control two. 
one, two, three. Hold for longer. I can select three. Now that is really nice. I was wondering how they're going to do select all on a switch controller. Right. Understood. Are you hurt? Uh, who are you? Let's just say that we're soldiers. Soldiers? Then might I ask you to secure this area? Anyway, I really like the the drawing of the characters. Uh, it reminds me of Final Fantasy XIV characters artwork. Oh, and take this as well, just in case. It's a prototype, but it should serve you well. Certainly. Please. Seek shelter and leave the fighting to us. Who do you lot think you are? Sticking your nose in where it don't belong. Hand her over! Everything's going according to plan. You remember the next steps, Rios? Of course. Good. Then let's get this done. Got it. Very well. So how do I queue my movement? On my way. Uh, actually, I don't know how how to queue movement. On my way. Well, let's try backstabbing. There you go. Ambush. Oh no, he's targeting the night guy. I thought the enemy is targeting this girl. more of them to deal with now. What's the plan? Let's find ways to hit as many of them as we can at once. Does that sound doable, Rias? Very much so. I'm ready when you are. Good. Then let's get this over with. Got 
Okay, so press Y to set waypoint. Got it. Let's see. There you go. Now you can set. Okay, you can set that much. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go over here. Take it. And we good. On my way. DP fragment. government prototype, huh? Well, let's see what it can do. That was nice. It's not too handholdy. Like it's not forces me to use Bahamut step by step. So that was nice. Thank goodness you were here. Would you mind if I asked your names? My name is Frederick Lester. My companion here is Andreas Ronderson. And our third is Isla Wigan. We are in the employ of the Wigan family. I see. I am Lorraine Luxshaw. Are you familiar with Duke William Hende of the Lord's Council? The Duke is establishing a private military unit and has entrusted me with the task. From what I have seen today, the three of you would be an ideal fit, should you be interested. If you are, visit our headquarters at Elm Camp. I will see to it you are let through. A Lord Councillor's private mercenary unit, eh? It seems the plan's coming together, Andreas. Aye. Onward and upward. Let's go. It was planned all along. Andreas and his fellow Central Field mercenaries come to the rescue of a government official, Lorraine Luxshaw, and are invited to join Duke Hende's private militia as a result of the prowess they display. This unit is headed by Commander Yalzum Jordan, a former knight from a mid-ranking noble family. And the mercenary trio's first task is to go and meet their new commander at the unit's base. Let's meet the commander. Here we are. Whoa! Look at this! It's amazing! <gasps> wow! Oh. The Duke is said to be a connoisseur of foreign culture. <gasps> this, he would have had specially imported, I'm sure. Well, well, well. <gasps> Not just a ragtag band of sellswords after all. I'm intrigued.
Greetings, everyone. I'm the General Administrator for the unit, Lorraine Luxshaw, and this is our Commander. Yulzim Jordan. I'm in charge of this unit. I assume you're the new recruit. Yes. I am Frederick Lester. Andreas Ronderson. Isola Wigan, at your command. Wigan? Well, he was a brilliant fighter. Never struck me as... the fatherly type. I'm sure you will endeavor not to sully our unit's name. Oh, I will. Now, like other mercenaries, we take requests from the citizenry. But with one important caveat. Since this unit is financed by Duke Hende, his orders always take precedence. No exceptions. Don't disappoint him. I would like to see that it was pretty sexist, but then again, this is medieval time and she is acting as a guard, a mercenary, which requires physical strength. Which of course put her at I a disadvantage. Trust in your ability. From now on, we will be employing you as a mercenaries. I look forward to working Once with you. Once again. As you heard from Commander Jordan, Duke William Handy set up this I unit. Shall now explain. Using his private funds, he endeavors to bring together the best talent from across L Teen. Consequently, all all teen, all teen. And he expects to con commensurate return, a commensurate return. But with your skill, I trust he shall not be left wanting. And with that, now then, before you take to the field, let's get you some equipment. You will surely succeed. I've made arrangement at the shop. One of our assistants is there, so please speak to. Come them. to think of it. Oh, and let me re replace that magilumic orb. There's a risk of it exploding in a state like that. Very well. Understood. Dash. As expected. As expected. So I cannot move my camera while talking to a character. What is it? What is it? Do not be idle. Free time is best spent on training. Better yourself to better the unit. Okay. Alright, let's go talk to the shop assistant. Uh, I believe it's over here. Oh, nice. You can walk around. So, this is the shop. Yes. Ah, Andreas. Don't worry. Lauren briefed me on this And also... Here, you've been allocated this weapon. Yeah, well... I know it's not much, but it beats anything you'll find in town. My thanks. Thank you. Ooh. I must say, rescuing an official by chance and becoming a duke's hand. That's quite the luck. <laughs> I suppose you could say that. Yeah. I've got a feeling you're destined for great things. Let's give our best for the Union, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but you'll have to equip the weapon if you want to use it. Equipment unlocked. Shop unlocked. So I guess I will open the menu. Training mercenaries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next. Blue Fox Batch. It's basically our ranking. So, yeah. Equipment. Alright, usual stuff. Look at that, I got a new skill, Leaping Attack. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. AOE attack. From a weapon, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, nothing there. Anyway. I should check on Easy and Fred. Hmm. This actually feels nice. Although I gotta say that the character looks a little bit plasticky. Uh, just a little bit. Are you serious? Ugh, and I, I don't feel welcome. They all seem to be dismissing me without a second glance. However, they'll change their mind when they see you fight. Zoroark trained you well. But True, back home, no one could match me. That is until you two show, showed up eight years back. <laughs> one must always be open to new challenges, easy. <laughs> Go ahead and talk me down to me. <laughs> talk down to me while you still can. I'll show you. One day I'll be a legend just like my dad. You wait and see. That'll do it. So just you be careful. I might be the one giving you orders before long. I. Huh. <laughs> I'll bet it in mine. Talk to Frederick. There we go. Mercenary unit and one with close ties to the government as well. It's finally happening. <sighs> oh really? Seven years have passed since Levy's death. Yet I remember it as clearly as if it were yesterday. Damn. Every day I wonder if I had only been a little stronger, could I have done something? Uh Hmm. I realize that no good will come, come of dwelling upon it, of course. Another weakness of mine. All the more reason. But one that drove me to make a vow, at least. I need to muster more strength. I vowed that I would grow stronger. Strong enough that when the time comes, I will be ready. Do me proud. We will bring about the world that we dream of, Rias. You and I, together. I. That we will. Things are going rather well, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, finding out those bandits' plans? Talk about a stroke of luck. Ah, oh, okay, so they didn't plan the attack. But they do find out about the bandits' plan and didn't stop it. But took an advantage of it. That's pretty nice. I mean, I know you have your ways, Rias, but where did you pick up a tidbit like that? I simply happened across it. At first, I thought that maybe they... It's not that they planned the attack, but they might be tipping the bandits about the path of the uh, government official, the, the woman. But I guess they just overheard the bandits' plan. Yeah. This is a big step forward in any case. For Izzy as she strives to prove herself, and for you and I as we aim to bring peace to the country. May our dreams spur us on to victory. And may we three fight as one. Hear, hear. The era of myths gives way to an era of great turmoil. War looms dark over the Rotail mainland, and amid the unrest, the common bandit Trovelt Chauvia sees his opportunity and establishes an empire. Commanding a disciplined army and versed in modern magic, the empire is a power to be reckoned with. It promptly establishes control over the western part of the continent. Rotale's other nations respond by forming an alliance to combat the threat of the Empire. Despite their combined strength, they were largely powerless to resist the Empire's advance. The continent was ravaged by the devastating war between the Empire and the Alliance. However, one nation remained unaffected by the chaos. 
The Kingdom of Alatane on Deofield Island, situated off the northwestern coast of Rotail. On the mainland, the war reached a stalemate when the powerful Vermin Republic joined forces with the Alliance. The two sides were now evenly matched. However, localized fighting continued to intensify in a bid to secure Jade, a resource for modern magic. With Jade believed to be abundant on Diofield, the attention of both the Empire and the Alliance inevitably turned towards the island. The Kingdom of Alatane, Ward of the Orgus, looked destined to have its soil stained with the blood of battle. I really like the coloring of the map. It's not too overbearing. Got a sec? Right. Uh. Oh, bother. Oh, come on. I meant nothing by it, you moody git. Oh, Doran was looking for you, by the way. Sorry, I forgot to do the voiceover. <laughs> Tell you what, once you've been and seen her, you can treat me to an ale. No heart's feeling, eh? No heart's feeling, eh? No, no heart's feeling, huh? Talk to Lorraine. Well, let's walk around and see. It's quite empty. Anyway, the performance is quite good. Running on a switch. I was expecting a worse performance since you know this is just a demo and uh, doesn't look like it would run well on the switch well where is Lorraine okay all right this okay. hello lady the work you and your comrades have done these past months has been nothing short of remarkable. Andreas. Your strategic insight and intelligence gathering skill in particular have impressed me, Rias. If you wouldn't mind. Rias? Rias? I'd say your unit has more than earned the right to join us at the planning table. How does that sound? Take a moment to gather your thoughts, should you need it, then pull up a chair. Hey! A failed mission lowers the unit's reputation and reflects poorly on me. Remember that, won't you? End of the bandit menace. Alright, so get it up, guys. Oh, well, that's nice. I kinda like that transition. I didn't expect this table to be the... Uh, the map hub. Or something. Oh, that's nice. I like it. I guess we end this. Our next mission has come directly from Duke Hende. It will be carried out along with other mercenary units. The target is a large-scale bandit camp in the Regia Highlands, on the border between Centralfield and Westfield. Droves of mercenaries from across the region have been mobilized for this particular task. We will combine to make a large strike force and attack in concert. So, any questions? Commander, numbers are hardly a boon when the way to the bandit camp leads through a narrow gorge. Indeed. Rather than engage the enemy head-on, we could target their leaders in a stealth attack. Yes. If we take a small unit and set off tonight, we will have a good chance of catching them off guard. 
then there should be only a handful of surviving bandits left. The main force can mop them up when they arrive at the break of day tomorrow. You suggest merely pretending to work jointly with the others to steal a march on the enemy. Yes. I propose that Frederick, Isola, and myself form a separate task force for this purpose. I also suggest that you join the main group, Commander Yulzin, to draw attention away from our movement. We better keep up the pretense. Very well. If it is a diversion that's required, I would certainly help to make it convincing. I feel we would also benefit from having a talented sniper join our ranks. The Knight Errant Iscarion would certainly fit the bill, Commander. He is one of the mercenaries participating in the raid. A self-proclaimed knight, no? Very well. I will visit him at the encampment after you set off and ask him to join you. Thank you, Commander. Now, we had better set off for the Regia Highlands. Nice. So, fooling... Fooling our friendlies to fool the enemy. I don't really understand why the bandits have started attacking the cliff folk, to cliff be honest. Folk. Perhaps they're after some rare treasures. Or maybe, maybe there's been a territorial dispute between those that dwell in the highlands. I suppose we'll have to ask them about that, won't we? Though, I imagine they'll be tight-lipped. Huh? All right. Then we'd best get ourselves to the base of the mountain. More troops should be joining the main force before long. Yes. The plan is for them to set off for the bandit camp at first light. Good. Then we should make haste. Hmm? Who's there? Well, well. What do we have here? You don't look like bandits. Mercenaries, perhaps? And I might ask... Who are you? I am a Scarian Colchester. He's here already? Wow! Amazing! Commander Jordan works ever so quickly. No, he doesn't work this quickly. A legion of mercenaries all attacking at once would lead to utter carnage. And would result in casualties among the people we're trying to help. Also, unlike a regular army, mercenaries are not used to cooperating. Meaning they are looking out for themselves, and only themselves. <laughs> a full-on assault is bound to fail. Therefore, eliminate their leaders ahead of time. You are going to do that alone? I prefer my own company when picking out unsuspecting targets. Would you not think it'd be better if we worked together? I suppose it might. You do seem different to the money-grubbing mercenaries I've met before. You've piqued my interest. Let us join forces, if only for the moment. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Now, we'd better be on our way. Money-grubbing mercenaries? I mean, aren't all mercenaries money-grubbing? That's like the Get main your bow aim. Ready, your famous archery skills are acquired. Very well. And please, call me Iska. As expected, the enemy are focused on our main battle group, leaving an opening for us. Sounds very much like my time to shine. I'll provide cover should the enemy spot you. Sounds good. Let's go. Shop shooters. Complete the mission within four minutes. All right. Hold on. There's a drawbridge over there. It's been raised. No doubt to keep intruders out. But look what's next to it. Their base is turrets. Exactly. If 
we capture it, we should be able to lower the bridge. Let's make it our priority. All right. Understood. Nope, this guy's well. coming. Let's target this guy first. On my way. Got it. Rain of arrows. Fentil formation. Target eliminated. Go. Let's do On some way. backstab or what do you call ambush? Let's reuse the assassination skill. Gone with you. Next target. Understood. It is the furthest you can zoom out. Very well. Got it. It's a chest. On my way. You call that an attack? We'll be gone with you. Next time. All right, let's go take that thing. I've got it. Let's get going. Very well. Way. Oh, okay. So if you take a heal, hmm. it will I'll heal your this. whole team and not just the unit that pick up the orb. That's nice. Let's put this up. Understood. Got it. I speed it, sped it up. Okay. Hmm, 
I want to check if this guy is an archer. I think he is. Yeah. Alright, so let's get our unit to attack the archer. I've got it. First. On my way. Very well. Actually. Understood. Let's use this Was that an attack or a mosquito bite? Push forward. be the leader of those bandits take him down and his mob will surely scatter indeed we'll be done with these scoundrels before the break of day so i can use easy shield bash to stop enemy from using the skill okay I think she should use a potion. On my way. You call that an attack? What are you doing just standing there? <laughs> okay. I guess I didn't align his attack. Sight. Be gone with you. Enemy down. On my way. <laughs> Alright. Shield bash. Understood. Be gone with you. 
Next target. What a fool I was to let that common criminal pull the wool over my eyes. Mission clear. Oh, complete the mission within four minutes. We reach that. Uh, I guess I should use more skill. <clears throat> Clear the enemy faster. But it's okay. I've learned some new tricks. Four minutes and forty six seconds. I saw it. Excellent work. The bandits soon fell apart without their leaders. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Commander. By the way, I take it that you heard that someone, in fact, incited the bandits to attack the cliff folk. Yes. And there are knights looking into the matter. <clears throat> As it happens, Commander, a knight's requested your audience. Fine, I will see them now. You are free to go. Enjoy some well-deserved rest. Well, I suppose we should turn in for the night. Hmm? Iska? Frederick? Long day, wasn't it? It was indeed. Not as long as it would have been without your help. There's a place for an archer of your caliber in our unit. Won't you consider joining us? <laughs> Thank you. I know I told you before that I preferred to work alone. That I valued my independence. But I admit, last night, my limitations were laid bare. I realized the importance of having allies. Not for my own sake, but so I might help more people than I could ever help alone. Iska, let me make something clear to you. We are not the highest authority in this unit. That would be the commander. Oh, I know you answer to Yulzim Jordan. Doing a good job of it too, it seems. Yes, well, we do our best. So, Iska, what say you? Will you join us? I will. Yes. Then welcome to the unit. Thank you. It's an honor. It feels a little bit weird and awkward. The acting. After proving his worth in the fight against Goffrin, Iscarion Colchester is asked to join the unit. He had previously fought as a self-styled knight errant, having cut ties with his noble family. Traditionally, the knights of Alatane rule their own domains and collect taxes from their subjects, from which they pay a portion to the royal government. It is a system widely abused by the aristocracy, who have grown fat off the proceeds. Many of these nobles took up residence in Southfield, a southern region of Teofield. This area is also home to the only trading port on the island. A hub of culture and entertainment. Prosperous on the surface, but below lies a dark underbelly where shady dealings are an everyday occurrence. Sounds like real life. It is a chaotic place, a melting pot of virtue and vice. Yep. Sounds like real life. Abilities has been unlocked. Abilities. Is Carrion Colchester, a young knight errant of noble lineage, reserved by nature but committed to protecting the weak, skilled in archery, he can disrupt the enemy's plan by striking from the unit's rear. Care to explain yourself? Here he is. What's the big idea? <sighs> 
What do you mean? What in the world? He's Korean, of course. Ch- he did brilliantly on that last mission. And he's nice, and everybody likes him. It's a nightmare. Ugh. Damn it all! How do you think it makes me look, eh? I'm supposed to be the easygoing old hand around here. <laughs> Can't you talk to him about it? That's not it. I did. And what do you think he said? And what do you think he said? Hmm. I'm nothing without your aid. If we are to protect the people, your strength is sorely needed. <sighs> How am I supposed to compete with that? The man's perfections, the man's perfection personified. <sighs> uh, anything else you'd like to get off your chest? <sighs> no. Oh, wait. As I said, she wants to talk to you. She's in the laboratory. <laughs> it's the room by the shop. Well, off you go then. Don't keep waiting. <sighs> you were the one doing all the talking. Oh, wait. Uh. All right, it's over here. I saw quest. Right, it's the current quest. There you are, easy. Oh! Ah, oh, there you are. Take a look What's at this. What's this? What's, w- what is it? I have to tell the truth. Apparently, Duke Handy had it brought in spe- spe- well, spe- special to improve our abilities. He automatically designed a training regimen based on the user's experience in battle. Hmm. And, uh, hmm? what was the other thing again? Ah, never mind. It makes us stronger is what counts. Skill tree. So that means... Some kind of modern magic, is it? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Look at that guy wearing a... (laughs) That... Long nose mask, you know. When... The Black Plague hit the Europe, I think. Skill three. Skill point. Fighting style. Vanguard Cavalier I forgot what the Vanguard is called again The Magic Magicker And the Sharpshooter Knock them back Oh, that far? That's quite far Look at that knockback Hmm. Oh wait, I have 3 SP, let's see. Yeah, sure. And then for the Vanguard. Provoke, yes. Very useful. Okay, the Fentil Formation, he already had it. I mean, he already have it. I guess that's it for now. Can I tell you something? So, what do you make of it? Ah. It gives suggestions for combat techniques, analyzes areas to work on. Huh. I There's so much so. there, I almost can't believe it. That's just amazing! That's what you get when you have a duke on your side. Hope you'll help me improve my skills too. You know, 
That reminds me. By the way, Lauren said she wanted your feedback on it. Along with that... Commander Jordan seems to work up about something too. Unnerving so. <sighs> Sounds ominous. I suppose I better report in. Alright guys, I'm not a voice actor. I don't even speak very well so just bear with me okay? I hope you guys are enjoying the video. And please give me feedback in the comment. How does that sound? I. I did. It would be a great boon to the unit. I forgot again. Understood. I'm glad to hear that. I'll take Duke. I will tell Duke Handy. More importantly, you have to tell him later. We have a mission to be thinking about. <laughs> I'll save the details for the briefing, but to put it simply, you'll be clearing up a mess. Hey! Take a seat when you're ready. We'll start in a moment. Somehow I re reminded him. He reminded me of uh, that old man in the TV show. What is it called again? The Umbrella Academy. Yeah. <laughs> this guy reminded me of the the headmaster of the Umbrella Academy. Let's try talking. Well done. The plan worked out beautifully. You've always had a flair for tactics, Rias. Do me proud. This. Here's to many more victories. I see it now. This place is certainly well appointed. It seems the Duke likes to provide for his people. I'm kinda bummed that you can't move the camera now. while talking to a character. Because you know, sometimes if you have a camera like this and you're actually blocking the character, when you're talking to him. I see it now. You can't even see the character that's talking. But there is a, you know, a, a character frame on the left, so it's not that big of a deal, I guess. British Estate Recon. We have reports that South Field is in disarray following the wane of House Redditch influence in the area. Find out what's going on. Complete the mission within 4 minutes again. This mission comes at the behest of House Redditch, one of Alatane's oldest families. This prestigious family has had a strong association with Southfield for a long time and currently finds itself in crisis. It seems the Daglance Traders Union, their former affiliates, has raised the flag of rebellion and they're now embroiled in a bitter conflict. How dare those traders bite the hand that feeds them? Assisting nobles, are we? Not my cup of tea, but I suppose this kind of thing can't be allowed. House Redditch has long maintained an intimate relationship with the royal government. They prop up the commerce of the entire region. Duke Hende is helping House Redditch in order to have them in his debt. Isn't that so? That's the way of it, yes. Now you must make for the Redditch estate without delay. Lady Walter Quinn Redditch, who brought this request to our unit, is due to take you there herself. Lady Walter Quinn, if you would be so kind. There you go, our we'll magic here. Greetings, everybody. My name is Walter Quinn Redditch. Forgive my intrusion. I had to flee Southfield at a moment's notice. I should be glad to escort you to the Redditch estate myself. I will do what I can to assist you in any way. You have our thanks. But your assistance won't be needed. Ooh, those traders and any of that Southfield rabble are ruffians. This will be a good opportunity to bring them to heel. Very well. All is clear. 
Then if you could prepare to depart at once, please. Southfield, Anis Province. I think. Central Field Cell Swords, are ya? What have you dogs come here for? Did he say Shell Sword? <laughs> you are from the Daglands Traders Union, correct? Curse you, Zachariah. You cozied up to my dear father only to betray him. Have you no shame? Ah, oh, uh, what do you call it? Her sprite. Sprite, character, portrait. Yeah, character portrait. Her character pro portrait doesn't look like her 3D character. It's, I don't know, it looks a little bit different. And also the drawing doesn't look like Final Fantasy XIV drawing compared to the other characters. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, it's just me. <laughs> well, if I ain't young Lady Redditch, so quick to find new islands. We're up, my lady. It is not too late to come to an agreement. You should stand down if you value your lives. Stand down, you must be taking the mick. Come on, lads, let's get to work. I see that in this world, there's like a mix of medieval well, time. Well, if it isn't the government's flea-ridden hands coming to foul our turf. It's like a mix of medieval and, uh, you know, 18th century or 17th century England. It's, uh, it's a pretty unique mix. There doesn't seem to be any prospect of negotiation. We will have to make a stand here. The barricades should hold against some of their attacks, but they won't last very long. We mustn't allow the enemy to reach the mansion. It won't be easy. They'll attack in great numbers. Brace yourselves. All right, this time I'll be used the skill more often so that I can reach the complete mission within four minutes objective. Ooh. Alright, let's start. Understood. Think you can escape? Oh, I didn't reach both of them. Next time. On my way. Another one down. 
All according to plan. Ah, oh, I wonder where the enemies will come from. Right away. <laughs> oh, there you are. Show no fear! Speak of the devil. Them! So far, so good. They don't like determination. Understood. Very well. Uh, no, I'll try to. I tried to queue, but the queue doesn't work on that. Let's bait them over here. On my way. I got it. Yes. I think this will do. Bam. Come on. Boom. No! Ah, oh, no! You hit her. I didn't, you. I didn't mean to do that. Next time. There's only a handful of them. Split up for a pincer attack. They've regrouped to approach us from two directions. We can take out one group and then the other, or split up and attack both at once. Choose whatever tactics you think best. Onwards. Oh, it's just one character. I see. Here, a bit of healing for you. Um, yeah, let's get over here. Understood. I've got it. Then, in position. That laugh. <laughs> Be gone with you. Next time. Let's pick up the orbs and then it's like, understood. Okay. Another one down. All according to plan. On my way. Still on cooldown, huh? I've got it. Good enough. Target eliminated. Push forward. Next target. Now it's only Zachariah and his henchmen. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Wait. Something doesn't feel right. What the? 
The dead have risen. We have the undead now. The fallen dead have risen once more. Why are they attacking their Daglan's comrades? More of them are coming this way! Hmm... No more explosive keg. I've got it. I understand. On my way. Yet another foe defeated. Oh, nice. So large. <laughs> that luck, though. I can't get over it. Seize victory! I'll take you down. Next time. Think you can escape? Another one down. Target all according to plan. I understand. Push forward. Seize victory. Here they come again. I guess we could try move all the way over here and then you know use this explosive keg but that's way too far I want to finish it under 4 minutes so let's just Understood. move over here um, two of them should get I back understand. Yep. On my way. Right away. And the control is actually pretty nice. Not you. Hmm. Let's move a little bit over here. Look at that, so large. Another one down. Get another photo according to plan. This is the one that pushes them, right? But wait, there's more. We're gravely outnumbered. I fear we'll be. Do not lose spirit. There are no more corpses after these. We must hold out. Right, guys, let's go collecting stuff. Collect, collect, collect. Understood. Right away. Um oh right explosive cat I've got it 
Oh, I think she should get back. On my way. Very well. I got it. Understood. Boom. Nice. Get back. Right away. Go. You dirtied my dress. Um, let's taunt them. We'll hold them here. There you go. <laughs> oh, they just be your no fun. Defeat Zachariah is nowhere to be seen. Was he perhaps able to flee? The undead attack gave him the chance to evade us and evade interrogation. Oh. Mission clear. Let's go. Oh, that was really fun. I like it. Something different. Feels fresh. It feels fluid it doesn't feel too rest restrictive yeah that, that's really nice it would seem I've grown stronger and that laugh though there doesn't seem to be any signs of life do you know where your family are Lady Walter Quinn Lady Walter Quinn they sent me away when the danger became apparent. I don't know what has become of them. We'll check the house, but I don't think we'll find anyone alive in there. No survivors, regrettably. Perhaps they suffered the same fate as the traders. Hmm. We must discover what caused the dead to rise like that. What do you mean? They're just monsters, aren't they? Fred, tell me what monster materializes like that. No, this is some yet unknown phenomenon. Or a scheme of man. Lady Walter Quinn. Any insights for us? I do not. And yet you do possess considerable power, milady. Is ancient sorcery passed down through your house? No, there's no such sorcery in House Redditch, to my knowledge. I acquired my powers during my time in the church. During your time in the church? Is that so? Walter Quinn, if you've nowhere else to go, would you perhaps join our unit? Oh, yes. What on earth are you proposing? She's nobility through and through. I gratefully accept your offer, my dear Andreas Ronderson. That is so weird. Yes. Wow. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, me too. I mean, I wasn't expecting the way they are interacting with each other. The unit's latest recruit is the adept magicker, Lady Walter Quinn, the sole surviving member of the prestigious House Redditch. Many thought her unsuitable for mercenary life, given her aristocratic background. But she quickly proves her value in battle, gaining the trust of Frederick and Andreas. House Redditch had many unofficial ties to the landowning nobility of Central Field. And these connections were said to have given them the ear of the Lord's Council. 
This ten-man organization is a powerful body made up of officials selected from powerful families. Its role is to serve the kingdom by advising the king. Each Lord Counselor also leads a faction made up of lower nobles who seek their protection. The unit returned from Southfield to find a request waiting for them from Biltar Village. Biltar Village. You know, the battle reminded me of Valkyria Chronicles, a series that I absolutely adore and love. Quest clear, the noble's arrival. Walter Queen Redditch. A young noblewoman from House Redditch, elegant in appearance and bold on the battlefield. She excels at casting supportive and rest restorative spells from the unit's rear. Hmm. You wanted to talk to me alone? What is it? As before. We have a request from the citizenry, and it would be quite a tricky one to resolve. The truth is. Apparently, villagers have been abducted and put to work in a brothel. But what about? A brothel run by Count Hor Horace. He is associated with Lord Kimball of the Lord Lord's Council. So that means. I see. This could be tricky if you handle it poorly. <sighs> Precisely. Which is why the commander seems disinclined to accede to this particular request. Ah, oh, I suppose. I understand. So. Commander Jordan has his own interest to bear in mind. But perhaps there is some way we could encourage him to lend his aid. Hmm. At least the help of someone with friends in high places, you mean? This should do it. I think I know just the person. Leave the matter with me. Is that alright? You will help. Then I'll be gladly accept. Subquest unlocked. Subquest. All right. All right. So far, I've played the game for one hour and it feels it feels great. Uh, I like it. I can't wait to play the full game of this. All right. I think that's it for now. Thank you for anyone watching the video. And goodbye. Tara.